YouTube. So, um, today I'm going to show you how to use Tagsido. So, um, this website lets you create, like, um, words inside image. It's really cool with poems, too. Super cool, actually. So, first, let's actually go to the website. Tagsido.com and splash slash or no slash at the end doesn't really matter so now um you it it should come up with something similar to here so um in this blue rectangle over here there's the word start now click on it oh yeah reminder um this website taxido it it were it uses silver light so um like a browser like uh, Google Chrome won't work so um, the best way to use this is Internet Explorer but I'm using Firefox because I just downloaded Silverlight like two minutes ago so now we're just gonna find like a poem or something I'm just gonna use uh, you'll just, just type it so what you do is you go to load on the left side right here now you would just skip that part because we're not using it and you're going to enter text so now you can copy and paste if you're like using a poem or a story from a website but I'm just going to put, put to YouTube is awesome and now you're going to submit it Now what we do is just X there and we should see the word YouTube is awesome. Now we want, so we see all this but we want something, to, the word YouTube to stand out. So what we do is we're just gonna, wait, the more um, YouTube you put on, the more, the bigger it will get. So if you want one specific word to be bigger, you can just like put it multiple times. Just gonna this wait for it to finish now we should see that some of these are a little bigger now next um colors this every time you click on it it will change the color of the word certain words so if you want this awesome right here to be let's say a different color shade of blue just click on it and I think I like this but now you want I don't I don't like the color blue which is just for example because blue is my favorite color but let's say we'll change the theme now you can also add theme by clicking it by whoops by clicking it here the add theme button but I'm not gonna add one right now because it's gonna take forever now we're just gonna choose one yeah I don't like this just test it out Oh, I like this one right here. I, cause I just chose falling in love. Now, if you press it multiple times, you can change the colors. Same thing, too. But I'm just gonna. Now, I've shown you how to change the theme. Now, font. Now, any of them that you don't like, just there's an X right there. Just click on it. And it will uh, kind of like remove it. You can still see it, but it'd be really like. But I don't really care because I like all the fonts. The more the merrier, right? Now we can also add fonts. Of course, you're gonna have to download one, or we can use local phone font, which is um, these. Okay. Now we're just gonna X that out. Next, we're gonna go orientation. Now you can put it horizontal and it's loading. So it's like this, or we can have it both. Or we can just have it, we can have it horizontal or vertical or any. I'm just going to choose any because uh, sometimes crazy. 
is all you need. <laughs> now layouts. This one will like um, remix everything. Just like change it, change where the words are position is position positioning. So you see YouTube is right here. So now this is gonna press on it and it's gonna change somewhere else. Of course, not a lot. And now YouTube's all the way over here. Just gonna keep on that. Now we go down to options and under it we have shape. Now, if you got so now, oh, I like this shape right here. So we're gonna click on it. I don't know, we should be able to see something like this. Yeah. But since, oh, I don't like, it. oh, they're, they're also gonna, but now I don't like it the way it is. So we're just gonna go add image. What we're gonna do is we're gonna now it should finally come up with your file and you can choose but so now I'm gonna show you how to add so the best way to add it is to search up anything well for let's let's say example I'm just gonna use dash example and then sil uh, silhouette I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong but uh, there you go. So this, if you guys don't know what this is, it's like um, like shape um shapes of something, but all complete black. Like right there, that's Batman. That's a guy with a trumpetish, I guess. That uh, this one's Mickey Mouse, but I. I don't want. I want to search up a. You want to use a simple one too, by the way. I want to search up a. A. No, let's use. Let's just use a cat silhouette. Oh, first one up there. No. Just going to get the head. What we do is we save image as. Now we're going to save it to specific folder. I'm going to go to quick SS because that's where I have my folder right there. And I'm going to put it here and then put it in random. Save. Now it should be right there in the folder. Now we go back to this one right here. And we go down to this button that says add image. Now we're going to uh, find that picture, be random, and it should be right there. Click on it. Now I want the words to be black, but I don't want it to be blurry. Well, sort of. We want this trio. Let's like mess around with that a little. And then we're going to do accept. Now it's going to load for a few seconds. And it comes with the shape. Well, this is a, a good example. So if I don't like it, I'm just going to change it. But now I'm just going to change it to a whale. Yeah. And you can tell. So now if I want an outline I can click on shape just click on the word and this um, gray outline thingy will come up this will show you the shape of it that if I don't want it anymore I click on the button that on the word that says shape not the triangle next to it but just the word itself and it disappears now I can click on history to see what I've been doing so here you see I was messing around with the words colors and themes now if I want, the, want to, hi to hide the history I click on it again now next um, the layouts now this we want to just like take a look at it whoops don't click skip by the way so I want to custom the background I'm just gonna go here Ooh, I would like green but it's a whale, so we're going to change it to blue. That would be very cool. Sort of. 
Now, uh, this finding a good shade of blue. Uh, maybe this one. Now we want to accept it. Every time you change something, you have to click accept so that it saves. And now we can go to change something else. Click accept on that. Whoops. Now we're going to go to words. And I'm going to add punctuation. Yes, because I want perfect grammar. Number. Yes, because I don't have any number. So what's the point of that? Remove common words. No. I want whole sentences. That'd be cool. Combine related word. Nah. Combine identical word. Nah. Apply non Latin and hysterical. Sure, why not? I'm going to click accept. X that out, and you should see something like this. But now I choose I don't want the background to be that. So I can always just change it back to white. I'm just going to leave like a little darker. Next, to share it and to save it. Now, what we have, now you want to save it. You, if you save it, you're going to choose one of these. I'm going to just going to choose the 250 KP. But you guys can choose any capable, capable, and name it. I'm just gonna name it Awesome. And save it. Now it's safe. We can share it with friend, Facebook friends. I will do that though. So check out my Facebook, um, which is gonna be remain secret. The only way you'll know is. You'll never know. Now to share it. I'm going to show you guys how to share it. Oh wait. So now you have to save it first. Next you would go to Gmail. Now we would go to here. And you would go to the person you're sending it to. So I'm just going to send it to myself, or I should, I'm going to send it to my friend Cindy. Now, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put, awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, down here at the bottom, you should see insert photos. I'm just going to click on that. Oh yeah, this is how upload. Y'all, you have to click upload if you're not using Chrome, because technically you can't use Chrome, so you click on upload, and then you find your picture. I will find where I added my picture, random. I will go down to, where did I, oh, right here. Now, it should show a picture of it. Now, if I don't want to share a picture, I can attach a file. So I'll just do the same thing. Go to random, click on it, and then there would be a file. Because when I click on it, just click on it, you would it would um, download it, and it would be the same. Pretty cool. Just set her both, and then I click send, and then. Setting, yep, now she can review it if she wants. We accept these. Now, after you've done all those down here, you can search for their thing. Full screen, you can also look at that. And if you don't want full screen, I can just click it again. Now, zoom, I can zoom in and out on a certain place by just moving the screen right here. Now I can keep moving it. It's gonna, it's gonna move it back to normal. Okay, this will be fine. It's 
to click on that now. And I think that's all we have to learn about, guys. So, see you next time.